Hey, what's going on, everyone? Dr. Talks here. Today, guys, we'll be doing a build for Bennett. Now, Bennett is a support character, so let's get right into the build. The first thing you want to know is his artifacts. You see, I, I have been running the No Bless or Bleed set, which gives us an elemental burst damage of 20%, meaning that when Bennett does any uh, sort of elemental attack, he does a 20% more damage while doing that attack. So it's good for his ulti and it's also good for what we're going for. We're building Bennett as a support character and the main reason why is that you need to have, in my opinion, you need to have two types of persons in your team. The support characters and the attack characters, the high damage dealers and the neutrals as well. And in this case, our main, uh, our attack will be focused on dialogue. And we'll show you that in a sec. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be running, again, no blue sub leads for this burst sec. And we're also going to have Berserk on the side just for a 12% increase of, um, just a little 12% crit rate increase. I also forgot to mention for the artifacts that we're looking for key things in the terms of the what the artifacts actually have. We're looking for energy recharge and we're looking for attack. Now, the reason why is that we increase... The energy recharge is to get the ultimate faster while the attack, the more attack that Bennett does, it actually adds on to the other characters that, with, that are within his thing. They get 30% of Bennett's attack added to their normal base attack. So if your character is hitting for 1800 and say Bennett is doing a, a thousand damage at most, 30% of that thousand damage will add to that uh, damage that the normal character does, which is really good if you're trying to like one hit KO boss okay so guys when we're focusing on the talents of Bennett we want to max out his normal attack which is the strike of fortune just so we can increase his base attack damage and we d we're gonna skip over uh skip past patch and overload because that doesn't really account too much when you're building him as a support character we're gonna instead look at fantastic voyage which increases the attack of characters within his uh his ulti if their health is about 70% which is really good when we're dealing with a, a high damage dealer paired with Bennett. Now when returns of weapons doesn't really matter too much but everybody knows that you should use the Fulfonian Sword with Bennett just for the elemental particles which recharge 6 energy for the character and can only occur for seconds which is really good when you're trying to get the ulti back up as quick as possible. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do is actually test to see the damage difference. So, we're going to do normal attacks with, um, a dialogue, see how much he does normally. 1400, 3000, 2500, that's the base, right? So, let's try it with Bennett's attack, so we're going to do Bennett's ulti, and then 1600 increase, 1800 increase, 4000 damage. The damage increases as long as their health is over 70%. And that's not really a problem considering the fact that you heal most of the time. So it really goes to show how much that it really increases. If you build da Bennett's damage correctly and Dialogue's damage correctly, you could cap out at least 15k or like 100,000 damage. I've seen people do it, do it and it really depends on how much damage one character does. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy this Bennett build, video and you want to see more builds like this let me know in the comment section below leave a like subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one